Islamic art. Inscribed textiles originated after the death of the Prophet Muhammad in honorific garments called the Qilaf. As Islam grew, its surrounding regions began to replace spaces to epigraphy on garments given their stance on iconography. The materials of these garments were silk and gold wrapped threads. The official purposes of the inscriptions on these garments were to pledge allegiance to the caliphate state and as a mark of honor. The social use of it was to protect the wearer with inscribed proverbs, attract good luck, and have talismanic value. As Islam spread throughout the world, it would reach Europe and lands with rich history with sculptural tradition. Prior to these lands being converted, there were long-standing rules concerning artwork known as hadiths that would ban artists and sculptors from depicting humans and creatures. Despite this, groups such as the Fatimats from Spain and the Umayyads from, uh, from Egypt adapted this rule to be able to include sculpture in a small scale and non-religious context. These sculptures were made from glass, metal, and ceramic material. These sculptures would often depict motifs that would allude to pre-Islamic mythology. One of the most notable pieces of sculptures was a griffin made from bronze, known as the Pisa, the Pisa griffin, created in 11th, 11th century Spain. Architecture is very important in Islam because it compromises the religious and art forms of the nation. Columns were very important to represent the Islamic art and its meaning. They began during the classical period and can be seen in early empires such as the Great Mosque of Damascus and Cordoba. Arcs are also very important during the representation of Islamic art because they were influenced by the Roman architecture. There's three types of arcs that are very important to the Islamic religion, which are horseshoe, keel, and polybia. Textiles were used everywhere in Islamic lands, including in portable architecture, tents, and one of the most important arts of the 9th century is architectural ornament, rendered in stucco, wood, or stone, and mukarnas, stalactite, or honeycomb-like units were used as a decor decorative device in Islamic architecture. <clears throat> calligraphy is the artistic practice of handwriting based on the alphabet. In Islamic calligraphy, this includes many parts of the Islamic world, such as Arabic, Ottoman, and Persian. Calligraphy within Islamic culture reflects the notion of writing and text in Islam. It is noteworthy that Muhammad said that the first thing that God created was the pen. In Islamic calligraphy, Islamic calligraphy is heavily tied to the Quran. Both chapters and excerpts from the Quran are common. There are two major styles, Kufic, which is the oldest form of Islamic script. Uh, it was created at the end of the seventh century and is commonly seen on coins and monu monuments. And there is also Nask, which is created at the 10th century. It is smaller and more round form and became most popular by the 11th century and is commonly used by scribes. The art of pottery was greatly advanced in the ninth century with the development of the technique of luster painting. Luster painting is a spectacular means of decorating pottery the production of luster decorated pottery was complicated, costly, and time-consuming, indicating that such objects were regarded as luxury items. This technique combines silver and copper ox oxides with sulfur and other materials, which are applied in liquefied form to the surface of a previously glazed and fired object. The wear is then refired so that the oxygen is drawn out from the metal oxide, producing a dazzling metallic surface. Luster wear can vary in color from a rich gold to a deep reddish brown. The era of Islamic pottery started around 622. However, a distinct Muslim style in pottery was not firmly established until the 9th century in Iraq, which was formerly known as Mesopotamia, Syria, and Persia. During this period, the early medieval period, which was from 622 to 1200, pieces mainly used a white tin glaze as shown on the picture from the left. From between 8th century and 18th century, the use of glazed ceramics was prevalent in Islamic art. Tin opaquefied glazing for the production of tin glazed pottery was one of the earliest new technologies developed by the Islam Islamic potters. The first Islam oh my God. opaque glazes can be found as blue painted in Bursara, dating around to the 8th century. Another significant contribution was the development of stoneware originating from the 19th century Iraq.